Apparently the phone doesn't like having its screen on and charging, which is slightly annoying. on some of these bits leaves quite a lot like everything to be desired and we'll just ream it out a bit right, this has been plastic coated uh, after it was drilled to shot. side for a moment. Yeah, you can tell this is Chinese I'm dealing with. Hmm, somebody's been hurt offshore. There's a helicopter going overhead. Uh, and the only time they fly over here is when they're going to the helipad at the hospital. No. They're about a mile from the hospital here, so they're only at about 300 feet when they fly over my house. If it's one of the larger choppers, that was probably a Eurocopter, uh, but if it's one of the larger choppers, the, the whole house <laughs> gets to know about it. Right, nice as ninepence, you go in there. No. one is in there. Again, the plastic coating could have been applied with a little more care. In fact, this may be a moulded plastic thing, I'm not sure from the feel of it. In which case it was probably drilled with the world's bluntest drill. are cutting into whatever right it goes this way up now I've got to find which shaft there's one there now let's have a look it's a uh, we 
screw 295 millimeter. Right, so that's fine. We've got two lead screws there. This looks like the 295 millimeter one. Let's just measure that to make sure. No, that's 300 some. Uh, Five millimeter. No. What goes with that? There's a copper, not a spring, and not rest. And where did I put the other one of these? Here it is. Yep, this is the correct one. So this. By the look of things, this looks like an acme thread. a copper nut. This looks like a copper nut. That's fine. And that goes in presumably that way, yeah. No, that's a spring. Yep. one for the other axis as well. So that goes presumably in there. The copper nut goes over there. And the lead screw which won't screw on kind of hopeless because it has to screw in there because this is what drives it now it also gets two of these doodly doos so I certainly don't have any acme taps while I think about getting a damn thing to fit on that threaded rod. Yes, there's a few things here I could use an M5 tap run through them to clean up. This is one of them. if this one's any better. Yep. Now, if I remember rightly, just behind the camera, there was an M5 tap. Ah, let's go and see. Hopefully it's not some weird pitch. I'm hoping it's just a straightforward M5 by 0.8, or even one. Let's see what we've got there. A die. I send no one behind the camera. Another die. Set of earphones. Yeah, a book. Oh, don't go! 
flying rat thread gauge. A large drill. Some cable staples. A mouse. I thought there was an M5 tap in there. No, there'll be one somewhere. Chat amongst yourselves. will now be a short intermission while I find some taps. Battery's low anyway. 